He wasn't kidding about the coins. Oh my goodness. So there is a BASS coin. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And look at the back. What does this thing say? Uh, Bass Collector Series. Success. Should I bite that? I'm not going to bite that. <laughs> Retro bassin' kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Good morning and welcome to Retro Bassin'. I'm not sure what's in more a state of flux these days the Retro Bassin' wagon or the Retro Bassin' studio. Uh, Bassin' buds, you can't see it, but there is chaos all around me today. Hopefully we'll get it in line soon and do a walkthrough of the new retro man cave in short order. As part of my little spring cleaning mission here at Retro Bassin, uh, we've got some Bassin Bud mail to get through today. So stick around. We've got some old gold to open right now. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, Talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from fishing days gone past. Well, stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when we post a new video like this one. All right, let's get into it. So, oh, <laughs> uh, here is a rather heavy box that I have had under the old desk for a hot minute. So this box comes to us from Harrison, Tennessee. And it's actually, does it have a weight on here? Um, 13 pounds. Oh man. Yeah, that's a lunker. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Uh, looks like some books and a note attached to the top. So we'll go ahead and start with the note for once because that's probably what you should do when you get mail. <laughs> this is your Bass and Bud Aaron from Chattanooga. Uh, we exchanged some pose a while back. I do recall that. After your Fishing Facts episode, I thought you would dig this bass pack. The books are informational, but more importantly, the picks are retro gold. And I think I know what he's talking about. I don't know what the point of the Infisherman or BASS coins are, but I thought you might like these also. Ooh, coins. It was the 25th anniversary of BASS, so I think it's got to be worth at least a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I included some of my homemade swim baits for you to try. Uh, congratulations on 10,000 subs, Andrew. Ah, well, Andrew, thank you, good buddy, for that. And hopefully you are enjoying that super cedar that I sent a while back. Okay, so uh, we'll get the packaging out of the way and see what kind of old school gold we've got inside. Ooh, so this is a pretty glorious old line of books from BASS. They had them on a number of different subjects. A lot of these were technique or species specific, but they had other ones dedicated to fishing recipes, electronics, you name it. It's almost like the Encyclopedia Britannica for bass fishermen. Uh, this first one is Top Techniques of the Bass Pros. Looks like a 15-year-old KVD on the cover. Hunting for trophy bass. Ooh, we'll have to crack one of these in a minute. Ooh, a guide to topwater fishing. I'm going to put that one aside. Techniques for the elite angler. Seasonal patterns for catching bass. I should probably read that before I get the old retro wagon out this year. 
advanced bass fishing skills. Ooh, a guide to crank baits and jerk baits. I'll guarantee there's some uh, crank and gold in there. And last, fishing for bass in cover and structure. So let me crack open this top water guide and show you uh, what Andrew means. The techniques I'm sure are great in here, but the artwork is just insane. <laughs> so there's an article with the man himself, Roland Martin, spooning for bass. Ooh, with a nice Okeechobee lunker. One of the things I loved about these old books was that they featured a lot of lures just kind of floating on the page. Actually, this is something that uh, in my magazine editing days, uh, I stole a lot of our layout ideas from these very books as well as magazines like The In Fisherman, which did an excellent job of capturing the lures and equipment in a way that just made it seem like it was lying right on the page. So Andrew, thank you for that library. I will put that proudly on display and definitely start digging into those. Maybe, by the way, Bass and Buds, for some walkthroughs of some books, if you guys have the interest. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, he wasn't kidding about the coins. Oh my goodness. So there is a BASS coin. Oh my goodness, look at this. And look at the back. What does this thing say? Uh, Bass Collector Series. Success. Should I bite that? I'm not going to bite that. <laughs> so that's a, that's a heavy chunk of metal. I will have to look it up after uh, I film the episode and see what he sent. Um, we've got a stack of them. Holy mackerel. Uh, here's one from the Inn Fisherman. Yes, speaking of the Inn Fisherman. Classic collector's series. Looks like a nice catfish on there. Here's another BASS coin. Huh. Looks like a bass about to attack a topwater. Oh, man. There's another BASS coin. Another bass in attack mode. <laughs> these are glorious. I don't even know what to do with these. Uh, bass collectors. Yep. There's another one. I think all of these look different. Every one of them. <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and the last one is an in fisherman with appropriately a nice walleye. Probably, what is he biting on? Looks like a little yellow perch. Wow, man, that is really cool. Thank you for those. Uh, I will definitely do something with those. Very special. Awesome. Uh, what else do we have? Um, here we've got a, a Cordell Big O anniversary box from BASS. This is the Big O, but I don't know that there's one in there. We'll see. Maybe there is. Ooh, there is one in there. All right, so the very classic Fred C. Young bait. I'm not sure what year they came out with this. 25th anniversary, 1967 to 1992. So I guess they came out with this bait, 1992. 30 years ago. Ah, oh, that's crazy. But this is a, a plastic representation of the Fred C. Young Big O. And it's a solid body. It's actually almost a different material than every other Big O that I've seen. It's almost a thinner, harder plastic. So I'm curious how this thing would fish if you actually chose to fish it. Uh, it's got sort of a classic hand-built Fred Young pattern on it with, of course, the classic eye gill plate. Fred's signature, and down here or on the bill, more often he used to number the baits. 
So here they have 1967, sort of just to commemorate the first year that he built a big O. Thank you for that. That is definitely a collector. And last, Andrew mentioned that he's got some baits that he makes. So this is the PR Swimmer. Oh, hold on a second. You know, one of the challenges of throwing baits on a five foot, six inch pistol grip rod, like I do, is that you can't throw some big modern baits. And most of the swim baits that I've actually got in my arsenal, you just would not want to throw on that kind of tackle. But this saucy little thing, ooh, I bet you could. So this looks like a hand poured bait. It's got a really nice slit on the bottom. You could put that on an Alabama rig, but I don't know. I think I might just throw that on a little belly weighted hook and call it a day. That would definitely catch, and that is a gorgeous color. So it looks like it's got a light gray belly. The top is sort of a smoke blue with blue fleck. Nice red eye. Woo! Thank you, good buddy. Oh, and I do see that he's got his Instagram on here. Uh, it is at uh, positive response fishing and this is on the insta i've got a hunch that if you guys head over there you could probably buy some of these baits on positive response fishing awesome well thank you andrew good buddy i appreciate you and uh i would definitely hit you up on the insta if i have not hooked you up with a retro bass and decal that will be coming your way very soon all right uh, next box comes to us from my bass and bud, John, who, <laughs> this box moved to the top of the list, uh, because he has been hitting me up, asking me if I've opened this, and I was not gonna dare open it without the cameras running. So, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and get into this box right now. Got some big mail this week, huh? <laughs> All right. I have no idea what we have in here. <laughs> Looks like a smorgasbord of old school packages. I, I don't know what we have in here. The first one, this feels kind of soft. I guess we'll start here. Why not? What could this be? <laughs> Holy mackerel, check this thing out. Oh, there's a couple of them. So... <laughs> oh, I, uh, I don't currently uh, own a Ranger. I've not owned a Ranger before, but that would not stop me from wearing this glorious, glorious shirt. That is a long sleeve Ranger shirt. And oh my goodness, that is... Oof. Honey of an outfit. <laughs> so what else do we have? Oh, so here's a pretty sweet Berkeley trilene jacket. Oh man. Yeah, I think this is one I could totally be rocking to the grocery store. Just look at that old logo. Let me tell you, if I had a five pound bass for every retro jacket I've got, I think I would have qualified for the Bassmaster Classic this year. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and here's yet another uh, backup of the jacket. Uh, I guess it's a backup, or if maybe me and Bluetooth Brandon wanted to go out and fish in a bass tournament with old gear, of course we'd have to show up in these jackets. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we've got something else here, another little package. What is this? Uh, it's a little book. Berkeley, 50 years, 1987. And what is this? Oh, wow, so that's really cool. It is a straight up a Berkeley product catalog. That might actually deserve a walkthrough at some point. Oh, that is really cool. Um, with all of the Berkeley accessories, including fly fishing gear and <laughs> I think we saw this at Jensen Fishing Tackle. Ski accessories. 
<laughs> I guess if you want to do the slalom course on trialing, that's the way to do it. And what else do we have? Oh, this is pretty sweet. A uh, nice old school Berkeley trialing. Uh, looks like it's just a long sleeve shirt. A nice logo there. And I just love it when they would print something down the sleeve. It says trialing on one side. And it looks like trialing on the other as well. Oh, and it sounds like I've got some lures to open. So what do we have here? Oh, it's actually appropriate that I've been working on the Retro Studio today because I'm looking for a few nice display pieces and for any Rebel slash Color Selector collector, that is a goodie. So he and I have traded some color selector stuff back in the past, but I uh, have never actually seen this kit, but it's a one, two, three, four, five, a six lure kit of what it looks like is the Rebel, I think that's the Fast Track Shad, in a variety of colors for the color selector. Everything from the purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. What's interesting though about these, and this is actually different from any color selector that I've seen, it looks like the top of these is black and the color's on the belly, uh, which is interesting. So three, four of these baits have just a straight up black top. That's quite interesting. Uh, but this is definitely gonna be a collector, not a caster. And there is Dr. Lauren Hill on the back. Awesome. Well, thank you, John, for that. I appreciate you and definitely a retro bass and decal coming your way real soon. And while we're in the process of cleaning up the studio, I do wanna show you guys a recent purchase I made at a tackle shop that I just happened to stumble into this week up in Killeen, Texas. I was up there for work and you know me, if I've got about five minutes to spare, I will plug in the words tackle shop into the GPS and see what comes up. So while I was up there, I happened to find this place it's called Tight Lines Tackle, and it is an independent tackle shop. I think they've been in business for, you know, maybe 15 years or so, and it is absolutely a hardcore bass tackle shop. Not necessarily a ton of old school gold there, but for the competitive bass fishermen, that place is floor to ceiling with stuff that'll catch them dead today. So there it is, a Tight Lines uh, Tackle. Definitely check them out if you're ever in the area. Um, but while I was there, I did stumble upon one little section of some old Smithwick baits that I'd never seen before. So naturally, I had to scoop up a bunch of them. And as I was checking out, I got into a conversation with the owner about the origins of the baits and kind of how he came to stock these. Well, according to him, um, Zell Rowland used to frequent the shop and he worked with Smithwick and he had a number of these baits in his garage that he sold them. So these lures I'm about to show you literally come from the collection of Zell Rowland, which is pretty cool. So these are the Gary Reed Signature Mr. Walleye Rogues and it is a really pretty little minnow bait. So these baits are quarter, three and a half inch quarter ounce floaters and Son, this might be the time of year to actually rip open a few of these and get them on the water. Here's one in a nice pattern called Winnie Perch, which might mean winter perch from sort of the washed out look of this bait. Here's another one in Banana Bread. <laughs> I just love the names. Here's one in rainbow, and that does not look like a lot of rainbow patterns that you see today, so I actually really, really like that. Almost more of a, a blue scale minnow there. Here's another one in orange shiner. Has sort of a gold belly, and a nice orange and yellow side. And this one's pretty similar, it's called orange chub. Sort of the same top and size, but much more of a flow orange belly on that. 
Here's one in a nice old school Fire Tiger. And last, probably my favorite, a nice crawfish pattern, which is really in a nice sort of copper crawl motif. Well, thanks again, Bass and Buds, for tuning in. Uh, and thanks to those who help support this channel and this episode with their donations. I will definitely drop links below for anything that we mentioned in the video today. I'll see you all next week, but until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.